Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today we're going to talk about CC Cycle 3, Week 15, Hands-On Science Experiment, which is called Magic Solution. And it is on page 51 in your VN Cleaves Guide, experiment number 91. So just one experiment for this week. Um, the instructions say to have two clear plastic cups and some water, um, some a quarter teaspoon of milk, if you wish, and then uh, three tablespoons or more of table salt, a spoon, and two eggs. So I'm just going to demonstrate this one with one, one jar of water. So I've just put some water in this jar, um, and I have my salt, an egg, and a spoon. So today we're going to be talking about density and why things float or why things sink and so some good questions to ask and I like to to grab um, Nicole Liam's uh, science scripts from the CC Connected Sandbox magazine um, that she just has some helpful questions and talking points so um, a good way to start this one out is asking them okay how, have you seen that certain things float or certain things sink and have they noticed anything similar uh, in the things that float versus the things that sink? Are things that are really heavy, do they always sink? Or things that are really light, do they always float? Um, do big things tend to sink or float? Or small things? So just some thoughts to get them kind of thinking about what's going to happen. Um, so we're going to do an experiment and get their hypothesis. What is going to happen when we put this egg in the water? Is it going to sink or is it going to float? So I will put it in there. All right, and our egg is sinking. And we can talk a little bit about um, why they think it's sinking. And now we're going to, so in the experiment, it says to have two cups, um, one where you're going to make a magic solution um, to put a little bit of milk in um, the water of one of your cups and that's going to be your magic solution um, but today I'm just going to leave the water clear so you can see what's going to happen and then the next thing we're going to do is add some salt to it um, and the cool thing about this one is you could start with the measurements that they give you the, the three tablespoons but if you find that your egg is still not floating um, you can always add more salt so I'm going to take my egg out real quick so I can stir up the salt. Okay, so I'm just going to pour some salt, regular table salt, in there, three tablespoons-ish. You can have it pre-measured if you want to. Um, I'm going to stir it up. Take a second. And get it nice and combined. Alright, we'll give that a try. Now get the the student's hypothesis. Do they think the egg is going to sink or float in the water with the salt? And we're going to see what happens. Alright. So my egg is still sinking, so we're going to add some more. It's sort of floating. We're going to add a little bit more salt. I'm going to see if I can stir it with the egg in it. I may just make a big mess. I'm going to take the egg out so I can stir it. Don't want to crack my egg. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more salt, just in case. All right. It was starting to float a little bit. It wasn't resting on the bottom. Yet, oh, but it's floating now. So 
kind of swirling around. But the egg is floating now and no longer sinking to the bottom. So why did that happen? And one of the vocabulary words we're going to be talking about today is density. So volume is part of what um, helps us learn about density. So volume is just whatever fills up a space. So like this water is filling up the space inside this jar. It's contained inside of a volume. And so, um, and last time we talked about mass and matter. So mass is just the stuff that things are made of. Um, so mass and matter, it's not the same as weight. So you can think about if you were on the moon, you would weigh less than you do here on earth or on Jupiter, you would weigh a lot more. So, but the stuff that you're made out of doesn't change the mass inside of you. And so we figure out what density is, is how much mass, how much stuff is squeezed into a specific volume. And so we have this volume inside our jar, the water and the salt and the egg. You can see it floating there. And so if something, so we talked a little bit about Archimedes last week and how when he was in the bathtub that he figured out he displaced the water. And if something floats, the amount of water that it displaces equals the weight of that object. So think about a ship. I don't have a picture here, but think about a ship. It's, it goes down kind of deep and wide inside of the water, but even though a ship may be really heavy, it doesn't sink because it's pushing that water away and the weight of that water is equal to the weight of the ship. So the, because we added the salt, we changed how much stuff, how much mass, much matter was inside of our jar. And so now, because the egg, it, it had more, the amount of water that it displaced is not the same weight as the weight of the egg when we did not have the salt in there because the egg weighs more than that same amount of water. But when we added the salt, we changed how much stuff was in that same volume. So now that water and salt ratio is weighing about the same as this egg. So that is why it's floating. I hope that makes sense. Um, she has a, in her science script a good example. And maybe you could do this, make your own uh, bottle at home showing the densities of, of different liquid that could show. Um, we have like different layers uh, depending on how much stuff, how much mass is in something for that certain volume. And so, um, so if the egg is less dense than the liquid, it will float. So we added salt to the water. We made it more dense and now the egg floats. Um, when the egg sank, in just the regular water, the egg was more dense. But we added more mass, we added more um, salt to this water, and now the egg will float. So you can add the milk to your other solution if you want to. It doesn't, um, it doesn't really change the density of it. It's just to give it a, make it a magic solution. But it could be more fun just to see a difference. Um, just using the clear, the clear water. It's not going to really change your results. Um, so it's a fun one. It's a fun one to, to, to get questions and hypothesize what's going to happen and why it happens. Um, and remember if it, your egg doesn't float right away, you can always add more salt. And yeah, we're just learning a little bit more about density and why things sink and float. So I will see you guys soon. Bye.